Are we still using the same book? A Student's Approach to Print Calculus, the third edition by Alfred K. Molson, PhD. So we're still doing the equation solving for x. Um, and uh, we have two of them here we're going to solve. And then next time we're going to move to, uh, to inequality. Um, so the first thing that we uh, want to tell you before, before you look at this video, we, we shot another video that explains this concept and you know a much easier way and it was an easier video this this one is more involved because you have parentheses and fraction and stuff like that so you want to solve it so here let's fold this out so we have 2 here 2x and then that same 2 times 2 minus 2 times 2 is 4 a cool you always want to put the sign 3x 3 times 3 minus 3 times 3 9 so the goal is put everything that has x on one side, usually the left side, and then everything that doesn't have x on the right side. So here, when we have this one here, bring it down, and here we have 3x. So, rule, every time you jump over this inequality, this equality sign or inequality sign, you gotta change the sign. So here was positive 3x, move it this way, it's negative 3x. Here, four, Make this four. Let's let's carry the nine first. Minus nine. So this one doesn't have x. That four here, that minus four doesn't have x. We gotta put it on this side to make it as uh, to make it positive. So minus four, carry on this side, plus four. So two x minus three x is minus x. That's equal to make minus nine plus four. That's minus five. Now, we're solving for x, not minus x. So, you multiply each side by negative 1. So, negative 1 times minus x is minus minus x. And negative 1 times minus 5, negative 5, minus minus, minus negative 5. So, negative 1 times, negative times negative, positive x. Negative times negative, positive x. And you have x equals 5. And we'll come back and solve for this one. 